Veruca Freeze is the choice of veterinarians across the country who are bringing the benefits of cryosurgery to their patients while at the same time adding patients and income to their practices. Large and small animals develop warts, skin tags and other benign skin lesions. Traditional treatments such as removal by scalpel are time consuming and put many animals at risk by putting the patient under anesthesia. Treatment with liquid nitrogen can be very expensive because it requires expensive accessories or delivery devices and evaporates at 3 to 5 percent per day requiring monthly replacement regardless of usage. Cryosurgery with Veruca Freeze is one of the most cost-effective surgical procedures available to veterinarians today. Veruca Freeze is portable and can be easily carried throughout the office or taken to visit a large animal. The kit consists of a cryogen canister, an extender tube, instruction manual, set of reusable limiting cones, cryo buds, practice pad, and other accessories. Replacement canisters and additional accessories are also available. Veruca Freeze is non-flammable and the canister's positive shut-off valve prevents evaporation during storage, allowing for a long shelf life. Cryosurgery destroys tissue through a freeze-thaw cycle. The extent of tissue destruction is determined by both temperature and rate of freezing. While negative 30 to 50 degrees Celsius is generally thought to be effective for destruction of most benign lesions, Veruca Freeze is capable of obtaining temperatures as low as minus 70 degrees Celsius. For the patient, cryosurgery is a quick two-minute procedure causing very little discomfort. It is highly recommended that several practice sessions be performed before treating a patient. If the Veruca Freeze insulator is not already in place, carefully slide it over the top of the canister. Remove the safety tab from the top of the nozzle. Place the extender tube firmly into the spray nozzle and test spray the canister by pointing it toward the floor and pulling the trigger mechanism. There are two methods of application of Veruca Freeze, limiting cones or cryo buds. When using the cone application, position the limiting cone on the practice pad. Hold the cone firmly in place and direct the extender tube against the inside wall of the cone. Pull the trigger very lightly and spray until one-eighth to one-quarter inch of cryogen has accumulated in the limiting cone. This will take three to six seconds depending on the technique used. Continue to hold the limiting cone firmly in place while the cryogen evaporates or boils off. Evaporation should take 20 to 25 seconds. Remove the cone from the practice pad to reveal the ice ball. If no ice ball is visible, less than one-eighth inch of cryogen was used, or evaporation time was less than 20 seconds. The lesion has been under-frozen, and a second or third freeze-thaw cycle would be required. Do not use more than one-quarter inch of cryogen. Excessive use of the cryogen or significantly longer freeze times could freeze excess normal skin tissue or cause temporary nerve damage. The thaw phase, which lasts approximately 40 seconds, begins when the limiting cone is removed from the lesion. It is important to protect the thawing ice ball from touch or heat in order to obtain the most effective freeze. If a thaw time of less than 35 to 40 seconds occurs, or if a large lesion is being treated, repeat the freeze-thaw cycle, increasing the spray time. The limiting cones are reusable and can be sterilized between patients in bactericidal solution. In this case study, the patient has been diagnosed with a wart. The cryobud has been chosen as the method of application for this procedure. Cryobuds are foam tip applicators best used for treating hard to reach or bony surfaces of the body, but can be used in place of the limiting cones. The patient is properly positioned and the appropriate bud is chosen. While holding the canister in one hand and the cryobud in the other, apply gentle pressure to the trigger nozzle and lightly spray the cryobud. Saturate the bud to its first drip point. Place the frozen bud onto the patient's lesion and hold firmly for 25 to 30 seconds. After removing the bud, an ice ball will appear. Allow a thaw time of approximately 40 seconds. Touching the lesion during the thaw stage will shorten the thaw time and decrease effectiveness of Veruca Freeze. After the thaw stage, 
The freeze-thaw cycle may be repeated. Cryobuds may be used for multiple lesions on the same patient, but should be discarded after use. It is desirable for the treated area to blister, turn black, or form a scab within a few hours or days after treatment. Occasionally, there may be no visible reaction. The patient may get the area wet, but it should be dried and left uncovered. The bullous formation should be seen within one or two days after treatment. Blisters can be drained during an office visit, but will resolve with time. Within 6 to 10 days, crust formation should be evident. Complete sloughing of the scab should occur in 5 to 14 days. It is best to let the scab fall off naturally. Review the instructions and the healing cycle with the owner. It is important to follow up with the patient in 7 to 10 days. The amount of time required for healing depends on the size of the lesion, its location, complexity, and the patient's healing ability. Although most lesions are successfully treated in one visit, more difficult lesions may require several office visits. When properly stored, the Veruca Freeze canister has a minimum 5-year shelf life. Store the canister in a cool area away from sunlight or other heat sources. Veruca Freeze pays for itself repeatedly and provides a simple, convenient, and cost-effective solution for cryosurgery. Cryosurgery Incorporated is committed to its customers. Comments of your success stories utilizing Veruca Freeze, as well as ideas and suggestions for improving the product, are welcomed and can be directed to the address, email, phone number, or website indicated. This presentation has been provided to assist you in using Veruca Freeze. It is a supplement to the instruction manual and does not substitute for a careful reading and understanding of the training materials.